out. Let's see. Let's lay the trap door out and see how it uh, how it functions here. And take these off. I don't think we need these. I think I was looking at it wrong. If I put now we do have to come up one higher because uh, here you know what we do have to come up one higher because if I put the roof down it's uh, you won't be able to get through but we're gonna put the ladder here instead And then the trap door will go here. It's not going down. I don't know why. Uh, see, I just wanted to test it out on a different. Uh Come on, trap door. <laughs> I dug a a hole out in my tower here on accident. I think maybe the trap door is not going down because this ladder is in the way, so we will move the ladder. See, it's going down uh, at the bottom of the block, and I want it to go down at the top of the block. Maybe that's more about where my placement is, the cursor. No, it doesn't seem to be. kind of weird with that one though. I could put battlements up. See the trap door is actually attached to that. To that uh, block. Let's put battlements up, I suppose. And I finally ran out of <laughs> uh, cobblestone. So we're going to get back to some mining. And watch out for that hole there. You could fall down there and hurt yourself. Gotta patch that up somehow. All right, we're gonna go do some mining. Um. And I'm going to use my, my bedroom as a starting off point. My new bedroom here. So a lot of this uh, particular episode has been uh, uh, like a relearning uh, experience. And I apologize for that because I know that that's not that fun to watch, but... You know, I mean, what you're seeing, you're seeing me experience it in real time, and that's that's what you get, man. You know, I mean, I I, I could, you know, play in my off time, but I want to uh, put all of my efforts in in Minecraft, uh, at least in Couchdale, uh, on Twitch. You know, I want that to be part of the show, 
you know, by the time I get to like episode like E and F, you know, like further on the alphabet there, <laughs> uh, I'll be a bit more adept at all of this. You know, I'm I'm kind of learning it now, so you know you'll have to uh, pardon pardon me while I take the time to learn it. Time to start making a descent. make this a little wider too. I like my uh, my two by two uh, digs. That's how I normally like to do it. So we'll keep that going. Plus you get more cobblestone faster. And I need cobblestone so it works out. And that could be very dangerous at night so we will patch that up. About to make another one here. Once I get further down, that won't be much of a problem. It's just that I'm, I'm like digging underneath sand right now, so that's why that's happening. But up here, I'm making a descent, so that won't be happening so much. All right, broke my. All right, hopefully we're done messing with <laughs> I just said hopefully we're done messing with falling sand, but apparently we're not. Once we get deep enough though, that will cease being a problem. up the holes as I go. I definitely want to descend more because I do want to get it really far away from the sand because I'm not digging all these collapsing, uh, all the sand collapsing in around me. It's making it hard to uh, to dig through. It uses up my pickaxes much faster too, and I'm not into that. It looks like we found, you can barely see it, but it looks like we found a little underground cavern here. So we're gonna kinda make a kind of a turn here to the left. Alright, now these uh, natural caverns are great for uh, finding resources in. If you just keep your eyes peeled. The thing is though you really have to be careful not to get lost. Because it's really easy to get lost in these. Plus, you know, you never know what you're going to find in, in terms of, like, enemies and spiders and whatnot. So you do have to be careful down here. There's some iron. Not a big fan of digging up, but you got to get that iron.
think that's it. Alright, so this right here, this is the way out. I'm going to mark the way out with two torches, two side-by-side -side torches. That's something I would never do, uh, which tells me that uh, that would be the way out. So from now on, two torches marks the way out. And this is just a like a dead end up here. Okay. Um, I was kind of hoping I'd find more resources down here. This kind of nothing. I'm going to take my torches back. And we are going to forget about this uh, cave. There's nothing in here. So I'm boarded up and we'll keep uh, keep going the way we were going. Okay. Maybe we'll find another natural cave system with, with more resources in it. They usually have a lot more in them. Well, that was a small one too. They're usually a lot bigger than that. My main concern now is with the descent. Like I said, I, I just want to get away from all that sand. I feel like I'm pretty far away from it now, but I kind of want to keep going. Looks like we got some some ore here. I'm gonna dig out a spot here. All right, and then we'll start going in this direction. Up, oh, yep, we got another cave system here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's more going on in this one. Wow, that's a deep one. Kind of getting vertigo here, too. I don't see anything down there. Uh, I see skeleton over there. You probably can't see him, but he's definitely down there. That's what that noise was. I think he shot an arrow at me. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really know... I don't have a arrow my a bow and arrow myself, you know, maybe I should craft one. Uh let's uh let's plug that up, head back up to the surface, and see about making myself a bow and arrow so I can engage in some ranged combat. See, it's daytime out, but underground, that none of that matters, you know? Oh, I am hungry. What was that? No, don't craft. Eat the food. Eat the food! I had some more food on me, didn't I? Yeah, steak. This will probably be filling... Let's refill my health, too. I just picked up a bone. Something must have died. Right